Welcome again to my YouTube channel today. My name is David Olubenga Akindele Adetitun. I come to speak to you this morning about migration. Many people want to elope from their country or birth or from their country of origin or from one country to go to another country. What I want to talk to you this morning is about migration, the good part of migration. The good part of migration. In fact, I can also term it why you should migrate or why you should relocate to a better country. Number one reason why you should relocate to another country that is more developed than yours is because of human capacity development. Most advanced or developed countries have human capacity development. They have human capacity that is well developed. In a place like USA and Canada or even Britain, it is a crime for you not to send your child to the basic school. Basic school is the primary school and the secondary school. And to make this, to, to, take, to take a hold, to take foot or to have a good grip, the government have made primary education and secondary education free. And it is standard such that in advanced country, everybody have the minimum standard required. And after this education, the primary and secondary education, the, the children or the pupils or the students can, can work conveniently and be able to live their life on their own. And after that secondary education, which is free, they can go on student loan to study in the university, and then they have grants and other things to study for further studies. So there is human capacity development. Another good part of migrating to a developed country is they have better infrastructure and technology. They have better infrastructure and technology. They have better infrastructure and technology. Everything is, in fact, better by far. Better by far. You see some of the things that are important, second-hand goods important to developing countries, and you see the way they are still, they are even better than new ones produced in developing countries. Then you'll be wondering, how would that product be when it was still new? So they have better infrastructure and technology. Then also they have security. They have security. There's no fear of thieves, of armed robbers, of kidnappers, of all sorts of things. All the shootings we hear in the U.S., they are, they are, not, they are not common. They are just isolated shootings compared with the genocide that goes on in some parts of developing countries. Then remittances also are there. Then that is money collected as tax and remitted back to the national coffers. Compared with developing countries where money is collected from you but is unaccounted for or is corrupted or they cannot account for it. Another thing is there is competitiveness. There is competition. You can compete. There is um, good competition. And for the, anybody that is qualified, you get the job. So there is no man, no man, so to say. Once you are qualified for the job, you can get the job. And there is job opportunities available also. Jobs opportunities are available. And in fact, there are some people that they can, the government itself can create a job for you. Then there is social security. When you don't have a job, the government can cater for you. Even when you have a job, and your family is large, is so large that you cannot take care of them. You can apply to the government and they, they give you food stamp, which you can use to buy food only. And then you can use other part of your income for some other things. And then your family can go on. And then when things improve, you can stop taking that uh, kind of social security. Then there's cultural diversity. There's multiculturalism and inclusiveness. People from different parts of the world are present in most developing countries, like in the U.S., U.S. Um, they do what is called diversity lottery. They don't want only people or people that are just U.S. citizens to be in their country. They want people from everywhere in the world to be present in their country, so that they can be able to tap the resources. Because everybody, they believe everybody is important, and they draw everybody closer, and they tap their resources. Then the skill and technology transfer. When you find yourself in a developed country, do you see that the skill available? And the technology available can be transferred to you, who that is from a developing country. You see, most people that found companies, industries in developing countries, they have stayed previously in developed countries and they have learned the skill, they have learned it, and they decide to come to their own home, to their own country, to do the same thing. So, people that have started businesses have read books from the white, about the white people. So, it's either they go there or they read their books and they will be able to do it. But you cannot transfer technology by just reading books. You have to see how the machine works and how everything does goes on. Then there's better political culture and leadership, followership and government. There's better political structure, 
there's better leadership, there's better followership, there's better government. Everything is done well, perfectly well for the good of, the, of everybody. The leaders don't go to power to go and amass wealth. They go to power to serve the people and to make life better for the people. Then government social and community support for the financially, physically and mentally handicapped. Those who are financially handicapped are supported by the government. Those who are physically handicapped are supported by the government and by the community. Those who are mentally handicapped are supported by the, by the community. Even old people, we have old people's home, where you take old people's home and they cater for them. So these are some of the reasons why it is good to migrate or to travel and to leave your country and to go to some other countries to work or to live or to do business or to study. These are some of them. There are many more. The roads are good. Social infrastructures are well, are very, very good. They are standardized. So many opportunities abound in the developed uh, countries. And um, I was in a developed country some time ago on a visit. And uh, I was in that place for the first time. And I was looking at the place at night. The vehicle that I was in, I was wondering, I was trying to see, is the car light on? Or is it the street light? Is it the car light? Is it the street light? Because the street is very bright. So I was imagining, does this man, does he need car light? Sometimes I imagine uh, the advanced countries. The development is so so great, and developing countries, I we need to we need to we need to we need to run, and uh, we don't need to jog. We need to really really run to be able to meet up with the developed uh, country, the developed countries, the advanced countries of the world. We need to run all this tension within us, fighting ourselves and quarrelling and uh, killing ourselves here and there. What do we need all that for? Why can't we emulate the developing countries, the developed countries, and uh, the advanced countries? Let's emulate them. And do something good with our own, with our lives. Instead of destroying that thing you are using to destroy, you can use to construct. You can use to better ourselves. All the fightings must stop, please. Fightings must stop. Uh, Boko Haram fighting, uh, fighting in the in the west, in the east, in the south, in Africa, in Asia, anywhere. Fighting must stop. These um, are some of the reasons why fighting must stop. So that we can have put the energy that we are putting into the fighting to put it into development. The fightings and families too must stop. Let's put that energy into development and we we'll see that in a few years we also will have our own place to be advanced countries that people will be traveling to come and see how things are done in our place. I'm going to talk to you some other time. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to click the notification button. In my next video, I'm going to tell you reasons why you should not travel to develop to developed countries if you are not if for some reasons. I'm going to tell you in my next YouTube video. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification button and watch all my videos from the beginning to the end. Bye for now.